Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to check out another custom ROM for Samsung S3. So this time we have Cyanogen mode ROM based on Android 7. And a few weeks back, I have reviewed another custom ROM for this device, which was based on Android 9. Uh, it was working pretty well, but it was pretty slow. So kind of it makes the device unusable because of slowness. But in this case, Android 7 based ROM actually working pretty well for this device. So let's go and check out this ROM. First of all, if you don't know about the Cyanogen mode ROM, Cyanogen mode is the older brother of Lineage OS. So the Lineage OS and Cyanogen mode pretty much same. So going with the device, so as you can see here, we have the stock ROM, pretty much stock. Uh, this device, like it is having few issues right now with the ROM. But I will tell you that too. But it is a pretty much usable ROM for Samsung S3. So going with the setting. First of all, the the one weird thing about this ROM actually, all the apps application can open very fast. But I don't know why the setting application takes a long time to open. So as you can see here, it is taking a long time to open. And I don't know when it will open. So this is only one one of the issue with the UI I'm having with this ROM, particular ROM and the setting for some reason it takes a lot of time as you can see here still it's stuck there nothing's going on they don't, I don't know really why still nothing so let me show you something else so if I go with something else like clock application so as you can see the clock application will open perfectly fine and we do have a camera application which is a maybe snapdragon camera which works perfectly fine no issue with that we can make video or or like everything is working just fine front camera back camera everything works pretty great here so no issue with the camera application also but and rather than that there are a few more application and I have for the testing purpose, I have installed WhatsApp and YouTube so that I can show you that Android 7.1 is still usable. So almost most of the application are supported in Android 7.1. So let's let me connect to the Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi and Bluetooth working just fine. Also, if you are want to share internet, the hotspot you can share 5 gigahertz band too. But this particular device i9300. So there are two variant of it actually. The Samsung S3. One of them has 4G built in, but this one is 3G version. So, but this ROM is only for 3G version only. So if you have a 4G version of this device, don't flash the ROM. It might break your device because it's not built for that. This is an Exynos processor. So it is just built for this device. So let's try to go again to setting. Yeah, the setting is open now. So let's go and check. So about phone, as you can see 7.1.1. And if we go Android version, as you can see 7.1.1 and Cyanogen mode 14.1. Nightly, this one is the official ROM for this device, and there is no update of this device. This is the latest version for it, and the security base level is from 2016. So, and the device model is GTI 9300, so it's specifically for this device only. So, everything is here, there is everything available, and also going with the setting UI is pretty stock, there is nothing much going on with the device. So, the customization are available only in the status bar section. There are a few things you can do like the battery percentage or the clock position you can change it to the middle or whatever you like few more things here also double tap to sleep are there so if you double tap the on the status bar it will lock the device and also you can use the home button to wake up the device or volume buttons you can choose whatever you want and going with the other setting of setting as you can see there is nothing much going on so the as you can see how much memory we have available only 277 nothing much going on in the background but still it is taking a lot of ram and the uh, storage is take about 5 giga 5 gb of storage like the sound volume and other things are working perfectly fine no issue with that and even phone call and other things proximity sensor works perfectly fine auto brightness work perfectly fine bluetooth works perfectly fine no issue with that you might find a little bit sluggishness in the UI as you can see here like it just rebooted when I try to access the Wi-Fi sometimes it happens but majority of the time you will not see this kind of issue it does just work perfectly fine for the ROM so the main issue with this ROM actually particularly is that 
in the flashing section so if you want to flash this rom you have to flash gfs and the rom because they are separated so they are not in together so i will put the link in the description below you can download it from there and just flash the rom there is uh, like there will be no issue with those things like flashing if you know how to flash the rom or if you flash the rom before on your samsung s3 is pretty easy to do that so the rom is rebooted now so as i said it just work perfectly fine there is no issue with that sometimes it happens because is it a custom rom and also the device is pretty old so it can happen so the wi-fi does work perfectly fine though but i don't know what's going on now so it is searching now let's try to connect to the wi-fi and let's try to load the youtube again like last time we did so last time the youtube application take long time to open even open so it, it take pretty much a lot of time so now the wi-fi is not connecting for some reason it could be because of my wi-fi because my wi-fi is having some issues nowadays because the password is so common that many people connected to it so now as you can see it's disabled maybe i have to use my hotspot to open like use the internet so let me let me connect to my hotspot now so now we are connected to the wi-fi so so it is like now connected to a 5 gigahertz band wi-fi so 5 gigahertz band does work on this rom so no issue with those kind of thing let me let me show you that it is 5 gigahertz band or not yeah as you can see the frequency is 5 gigahertz so it is working so now let's go and open our youtube as you can see it open now let, let let's see how long it takes to load the page because the the device is having only one gb of ram so it, the application is quite bulky for this device right now so it is like giving this device hard time like android 7 based rom but still i'm looking for a rom which is much like usable but this is kind of usable rom right now and i do have few more roms to try i will update you soon all those roms too so when it works it works perfectly fine you will not have any issue so let's see so it's it's close crash the app for some reason so let's try it again it said multiple app is open some sort of thing right now maybe it is having like the ram memory is not sufficient for running the youtube right now or we can clean some of the running application to improve it Let, let's let's clean the running application so we have contact camera so let's try now ah pretty slow i hope it will not reboot again because it's reboot, reboot takes time, sometime. So we are trying again to open the YouTube. So YouTube is having some issue, maybe. Let's try WhatsApp. WhatsApp is also working just perfectly fine here. I have tried it, and but I did not do any kind of like login or anything like that but it is working perfectly fine so this rom is perfectly usable but as i said sometimes it reboots and sometimes the app crashing is there but still it will give you a pretty much usable experience than android 9 based rom or the stock rom which is really good to use in daily basis but the application support is not there so that's all about this rom i will put the link of the rom in the description below you can download it from there thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time